The Innovation Award is a competition set out by KUKA in 2014, so we are running this in the fourth year now. We have lots of participants from all around the world that try to compete. For six months they were able to implement the coolest ideas they had in their lab and are now showing this off here at Hanover Fair. In principle, as KUKA, we carry out this Innovation Award. For us, we want to explore new technologies, we want to get in contact with uh, research institutes, but in general, we also want to boost uh, research in the area of robotics and the connected fields. Inventing, that's done in the universities, that's done it at academia, but really speeding up and bringing the ideas to the market, I think that's the added value. It is extremely important that academia and industry are closed because that's the value chain. The ideas often start in a, in a lab, in a university, but then they stay there. So that connection is fundamental and the award is one example of really giving attention to this important innovation transfer. I think the Innovation Award is very beneficial for the robotics community and the robotics industry as a whole because we can see cool technology materialized in close to ready to market products. I mean, that's what the Innovation Award is all about. We want to have a commercial impact in the midterm or even short term and not just in the long run. This year's theme of the KUKA Innovation Award was Advanced Mechatronics. It goes from mechanical systems, but it also goes until the software range with new algorithms, for instance, machine learning or things like that. We had more than 20 applications, so this year it was uh, very difficult. We have very good teams working uh, very hard during the last weeks and months, and now we have here five finalists, and we have very innovative ideas, so it was a very close decision, definitely, yes. These five were, were the best and the most interesting from a technological and at the same time application point of view. In principle, they all target the topic of collaboration, either between the human and the robot system or also a collaboration between different robot systems. It was very difficult to choose a winner this year because the, the team were, were very different, you know, from more academic to more application and, and it, was, it was very difficult. But eventually we, we focused on, on the best, which was the closest to the market. The winner this year was the robotic airbag and we chose the robotic airbag because it was complete. Our solution is to inflate an airbag around both the tool and the object. The robot is very safe already so we have a robot equipped with force torque sensors in each of the joints and additionally the robot itself has no sharp edges nowhere but we have the unsafe grippers with all the sharp edges and of course, we have the workpieces, which still have these sharp edges, and you cannot change the workpiece. So that's why our solution is to inflate an airbag around both the tool and the object. They are closing a gap. So we have safe robots, we have safe grippers, but we don't have safe tools and safe workpieces. And that's the missing link for safe, collaborative robots. Many people came to us and said, yeah, that's the main problem for human-robot collaboration and we are really solving this bottleneck of problems. We took a very close look at how far away are they really from the market entry. And for us, this was an indication that they have reached a good level of maturity here. What they have in hand is, is potentially very useful for practical applications. KUKA supported us very well, so they helped us with every question we had. Anything that we would write in the proposal, they would always try to give us suggestions on how to make it better. The whole experience was, was great, interacting with the people at KUKA and then people from all different areas of industry. It was an amazing opportunity to showcase our technology that we had been developing in our lab and you know, bringing it actually closer to the actual users. We really enjoyed the teamwork that we had. All in all, I can say, come to this competition. Orange Intelligence.